Exercise 24. Subtotal Command, part of the Excel 2007 Core Preparation Guide, brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. In this exercise, we'll be talking about the subtotal command and how it will display on our worksheet. So the first thing I want to do is I want to apply a sort here for my column day so that everything is sorted by day. So I'm going to go to cell C2 and go to my editing group and click sort and filter and then I'll choose A to Z. And it sorts it. I have Friday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well that's not necessarily in order of the week. So if I'd like to go so far as to apply that to where it says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on and put it in order, I'm going to come back to my editing group and choose sort and filter and then come down to custom sort. When I do, I get my custom sort dialog box and I see that it says sort by day and I want it to apply on values and then under order I'm going to choose not A to Z, I'm going to go to custom list. And then from here I'm going to choose the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday custom list options and then I'm going to click OK. And then I'll click OK again and there it is. It sorts it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's a pretty neat little trick. It's not in your exercise, but it's here in the video for you. Now the reason we sort it is so that we can apply a, the subtotal command to our data here. Now if our data is not sorted, it'll give us some ambiguous uh, information. But it is sorted, so we're going to come to our data tab and over in our outline group we're going to click subtotal. And here's our subtotal dialog box. I want it to here in the at each change in, I'm going to click this drop down and I want to change it to day. So it's going to group it by day and then sum all of the hours and that's what I want to have right here. Now from here I want to choose the page break between groups so that if I decide to print this out later each day will have its own page. So I'm going to click OK and there it is. That's their subtotal command and how it might look. That dotted line below the Monday totals is my page break and here's my page break for Tuesday totals and so on. Well that concludes exercise 24 subtotal command. Thanks for joining me. Next will be exercise 25, data validation, create from selection.